My name is Dr. Lux and I'll be your doctor today. Thank you. So I see we have one PM appointment for a head to toe examination. May I please have your first name? Juliana. Juliana. Okay, Juliana, I see that I have your history from your previous doctor. Let's make sure I have the right medical chart. May I please have your date of birth? July 3rd, 1990. Okay. Do you have any allergies, Juliana? No, not that I don't love. Are you on any medication right now? Mm, birth control. Okay. When did you start that? Um, two and a half years ago. Any problems? Is that working well for you? No, all good. Yeah. Perfect. Are you in any pain today? No. Good. And when was the last time that you had a head to toe assessment performed? Mm, probably more than two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Okay, well, very good that you came to see me today <laughs> then. Have you ever had any major surgeries? No. No major surgeries. Any history of cancers? No. Any blurred vision or double vision? Yeah, in the morning when I wake up, I kind of have like a blurry vision. That That's the reason I came today. Oh, okay. So blurred vision. And when is the last time that that happened for you? Mm, like two days ago. Two days ago. And how long does it last when it begins? It's like 10 to 15 minutes and then gets better. I usually stay in bed when that happens. Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? No. When is the last time you've had an eye exam done? Mm, probably more than two years ago. Okay, so definitely you're due for an eye exam. Mm. I'll go ahead and uh, do a very thorough examination of your eyes to make sure there's nothing wrong from a medical point of view with them. Any tinnitus or ear infection, abnormal sounds coming from your ears? No. Any tingling sensations in your face, your spine, your back? Mm, no. Good. And when did you last have any blood tests done? Mm, I don't even remember. So it must be more than two years ago. Yes, yeah, well. probably. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and send in a request um, to have your CBC, BMP, complete metabolic panel done so we have a good record of them. Okay. All right, so your chart is up to date. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the gloves and we can begin the exam. Do you have any blurred vision right now? No, just in the mornings usually. Just in the mornings. Do you spend a lot of time in front of a computer? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that could explain it. Mm. Definitely it's good to break, take a break from electronics and um, you know, not have any blue screen hitting your eyes two to three hours before bedtime. Mm, okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take your temperature first. Mm -hmm. This is going to go over your forehead and behind your ear. 98.5, so you don't have a fever. May I have your index finger? This is going to measure your oxygen level and your heart rate. Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Ninety-eight percent oxygenation and seventy-seven beats per minute. So your heart is very relaxed. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your heart and your lungs. It's 
just gonna be a little bit cold. Okay, is it okay if I put this under your shirt? Yes. All right. You can just breathe normally. I'm listening for any abnormal sounds coming from your heart. I'm hearing S1 and S2, not hearing S3 or S4, which is very good. Listen to the bell sign as well. Good. All right, take a deep breath in. And, uh, listening for any swooshing, any crackling coming from your lungs. Breath in and out. No signs of any bronchitis or pneumonia. I'm hearing clean, clear sounds coming from your lungs. Good. I'm gonna listen. To the back as well. Okay, just breathe normally. Good, your lungs sound perfectly healthy. Okay, over here. Excellent. I'm also going to take your pulse manually over your wrist first. Five, four, three, two, one. Over your brachial artery. Normal pulse character, not hyperdynamic, nor thread your weak. And over your neck as well. About 80. 80. It's per minute. Very good. All right. I'm going to begin by palpating your head next. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain or have you noticed any pain in your head area? Not lately. No. Good. All right. So I'm just going to check for cranial symmetry and apply some light pressure. So let me know if you feel any pain. Also checking for any lumps or bumps. Your bones noted. Patient does not indicate any pain. So going to feel your head from behind. Head 
head is symmetric, no lumps or bumps. Any pain when I do this? No. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Good. Right, so I'm not able to feel anything abnormal with your head. I'm going to go ahead and perform a scalp inspection. Okay, next. I get my comb here. I'm not seeing any signs of psoriasis or folliculitis, no dandruff. The color of your skull blends well with the color on your face and your neck. No signs of any ringworm, no patches of dryness. Okay, if you can move your head towards your left. So no concerns whatsoever with your scalp. Good. Okay, so no concerns whatsoever with your scalp. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on your face. Okay, next. You can just um, keep your head straight and I'm just going to look at your face first and see if I can spot anything abnormal, any blue or gray color, any moles. So going to look at your neck. The skin is very well perfused, no dryness. Mm. 
no blue or grey colours, no signs of psoriasis. Skin reactive to the touch. Good elasticity. Inspect your hairline and your eyebrows. Good length, no loss of hair, symmetric. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Equally about the size of the forehead? Yes. Equally about the size of your cheeks? Mm -hmm. And equally about the size of your jaw? Yes. Next up, I'm going to do a skin sensation test mm -hmm. on your face. If I may, please have your hand. So I'm going to touch with this device on your face. And this side is dull or fluffy. And this is sharp. Okay. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed. And tell me if you feel sharp or dull on your face. Dull. Good. Sharp. Good. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Hmm, can you do it again? Oh, sharp. Good. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Very good. Okay, next up I have a sharper tool here. And you can keep your eyes closed and I'm going to touch on your face and your neck to see yes when you feel it. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Next up, I have a slightly sharper tool that has two different pinwheels. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch you either with both of them or with only one. Mm -hmm. Just say one or two. Okay. Two. Good. One. Good. One. Two. Two. One. Two. 
All right, next up, I'm going to tap your head and your face mm -hmm. as well as your clavicles with my medical hammer. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you feel any pain. Okay. Next up I have here something that uh, places a lot of pressure. Um, I'm going to touch you with it to say yes when you feel it. Okay. Yes. the skin elasticity on your face. Continue keeping your eyes closed and um, just going to be pinching and pulling and grabbing on your skin. Right, 
next up I'm going to focus on your eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to begin by palpating them. Okay. Let me know if you feel any pain. I'm just going to feel for any lumps or bumps. Patient does not indicate any pain. I'm shot. I'm going to attempt to open them. Don't let me do that. Good. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? I'm going to attempt to lower them. Don't let me do that. Good. If you can now look forward for me. Just going to inspect. No signs of any jaundice. Going to pull down on this one too. Good. Alright, very good. Next up I'm going to check for your pupil response. Okay. If you'd like to look at my nose, mm -hmm. I'm going to flash my light in your eye just for a second. So look right here. So pupils dilate and contract in the normal amount, at the normal rate. Good. All right, I'm going to do a vision test next. Okay. I want you to look right here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to lift up a series of fingers. Try to count them. Okay. Don't look at my nose. Don't mm -hmm. look away from my nose. Two. Good. One. Five. One. Good. Two. Three. Perfect. All right, next up I'm going to inspect your optic nerve. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use an ophthalmoscope for this and I want you to look into the distance and keep your eyes open. And I'm going to flash another light just for a second and inspect your optic nerve and optic disc. Okay, I'm seeing no scratches in the cornea. Healthy optic nerve, can you look up for me? Look down, left and right. Good. No popped blood vessels. Um, it's clear eyes white. So Good. I'm going to do the same over on the other eye. Okay. Test your depth perception as mm -hmm. well as your color next. Mm -hmm. So I have here a series of bubbles and I'm gonna pop one of them. Just mm -hmm. tell me what color that is. Mm -hmm. Blue. Good. Green. Good. Orange. Purple. Good. Blue. Yellow. Orange. Blue. Purple. Very good. Alright, next up I want you to mirror me. Mm -hmm. So with your right hand touch your nose and with your left hand I want you to touch my finger mm -hmm. and then with the same left hand touch your nose and now with the same hand touch my finger, back to your nose, touch my finger, back to your nose, touch my finger over here, back to your nose, finger, nose and I'll touch both of my fingers and now you, you got it it's here <laughs> back to your nose perfect all right next up I'm going to focus on your ears okay I'm going to begin by just inspecting them so if you can look over to your left side you 
You mentioned you don't have any chronic ear infections. No. Do you feel any pain when I pull down? No. Any pain when I pull up? No. Okay. Any pain when I press down on your mastoid bone process? No. Good. Okay. Normal oracle of the ear. No external discharge. Going to go ahead and look inside and inspect your ear canal. Normal tympanic membrane, well defined margins, pearly grey color. No signs of any infection or inflammation. Good. I'm going to do the same up on the other ear. Okay. Okay, I'm going to inspect the outside of your ear first. Any pain when I pull up? No. How about when I pull down? No. Laterally? No. Okay, so no external discharge. Patient does not indicate any pain when I touch the mastoid bone process. I'm going to inspect the ear canal. No wax buildup, no discharge, normal tympanic membrane. Okay, so the insides of your ear, um, your ears look perfectly healthy. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of hearing tests. Next. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes and point to where you hear a sound coming from. Good. 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 So no concerns whatsoever with your ears. I'm going to focus on your nose and your mouth next. Okay. Any problem smelling, any discharge, anything that concerns you with the nose? No. No, oh, good. I'm going to begin by palpating it. Mm -hmm. Just going to feel for any mass in. Going to check the deviation of your um, Bone here, no deviated septum noted. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and exhale out. Good. Deep breath in, exhale out. No obstructions noted. Any pain when I do this? No. Any pain when I do this? No. Good. Any pain when I touch on her sinuses? No. Good. All right. Let's inspect your mouth next. All right. Let me take a look inside. Normal tongue color, good teeth. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to give you something to smell. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I want you to try to identify the smell. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Smells like my mom's fried chicken. Fried chicken. Good. <laughs> okay. Next up, I want you to obstruct one of your nostrils. Okay. Whichever one you want, and I'm going to give you something else to smell. Okay. Let's see if you can identify the smell. Mm -hmm. 
smells like orange chocolate. Good. <laughs> so no concerns whatsoever with your nose. Um, I'm also going to give you something to taste. Let's see if you can identify this taste. If you can stick out your tongue for me. All right. Tastes like lavender. Lavender. Good. Mm. So next up, I want you to lay down, and I'm going to focus on your tummy, your feet, um, and your legs next. Okay. Next up, I'm going to focus on your tummy. Uh, is it okay if I lift this a little bit? Yes. Okay. And lower the pants just a tiny bit. All right. So I'm going to palpate first and look for any masses. Um, check the size mm -hmm. of your internal organs. And uh, let me know if you feel any pain. Vision does not indicate any pain. Not feeling any masses. No lungs. The size of the stomach is normal. Normal size for the liver as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and listen with my stereoscope. I'm looking for any gurgling or swishing sound. Activity can be heard in all four quadrants. Normal sound. No swishing or gurgling. Going to inspect your abdominal area next. Looking for any skin abnormalities, any moles. One mole. Well defined borders, one color. Looks normal. Skin is elastic. Any pain on your belly button? No. I'm seeing another wall here. Two walls. One color. Well defined borders. Normal.
to measure your belly button. Take your pulse, 2 plus. I'm going to compare it with the pulse on your other leg, synchronized. No signs of any edema indicated. Let me know if you feel any pain. Capillary refills within two seconds on your right leg. Capillary refills within two seconds on your left as well. All right, I'm going to check the skin. of any psoriasis, no swelling, skin looks quite clear, not dry, nails are normal, no signs of any clubbing or pinning of the nails. I'm going to palpate your plantar region. Patient does not indicate any pain. Try to push with your 
toes onto my hand. Good. I'm going to attempt to bring your toes towards me. Don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to attempt to spread your legs. Don't let me do that. Good. And I'm going to attempt to bring them together. Don't let me do that. Good. Okay. I'm going to check the sensitivity of your skin and the nerve endings that come all the way down to your feet. I'm going to touch you with a sharp or a dull object. Tell me which one you feel. Dull. Good. Sharp. Good. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. 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 To say yes when you feel me touching you with my pinwheel. Yes. 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 Okay, your legs and your feet are normal. You can come back up. Okay, Juliana, so I did a very thorough investigation. I had the toe assessment. I was not able to find anything abnormal with you. Good. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, when do you think I need to do this again? Um, I would definitely recommend that you come back and see me at least once a year okay. to stay on top of your health and uh, make sure that, you know, nothing takes you by surprise. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to um, ask you to um, complete your, um, your blood tests. Okay. So I'm going to write here a note so that you get your complete blood count down. Mm -hmm. So that's going to measure your um, you know, white, red cell, um, hemoglobin, everything mm -hmm. that's important with your blood. Okay. And it's going to allow me to detect if you have any anemia, any, any nutritional deficiencies, mm -hmm. any vitamin deficiencies. So it's very important to get them done. Okay. As well as your basal metabolic panel and your lipid panel. Okay. So that's going to tell us, you know, your cholesterol, how much of the good cholesterol you have, how much of the bad one, um, and um, get a complete baseline for you. Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to write this note down. And um, other than that, get the blood test done. I'll review them. If they turn out to be okay, I'll see you back in a year. Okay, great. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so.